Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the fourth week of January, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Yoshio Yoda died January 13, 2023, in Fullerton, California, at the age of 88. He was one of the stars of the classic sitcom Mikhail's Navy, playing Fuji, a Japanese prisoner of war. Yoda is also being remembered for a prominent role in the movie The Horizontal Lieutenant. TikTok star Randy Gonzalez died January 25, 2023, of colon cancer at the age of 35. He and his son, Bryce, made funny lip-sync videos that were enjoyed by millions of people on their Anki Boys TikTok channel. Gonzalez is being remembered for his love for his family, which was so evident in their videos, and for his openness in publicly raising cancer awareness. Baseball player Sal Bando died January 20th, 2023, in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. He died of cancer at the age of 78. He was a third baseman and team captain for the Oakland A's, helping them to three consecutive World Series victories in the 1970s. Bando is also being remembered for his years as a player and general manager with the Milwaukee Brewers. Musician Johnny Powers died January 15, 2023, at his home in Michigan. He died after a series of health issues at the age of 84. He was an early rock and roller, known for songs including Long Blonde Hair and Honey Let's Go to a Rock and Roll Show. Powers is also being remembered as the only musician known to have signed with both Sun Records and Motown Records. Soccer player Anton Walks died January 19, 2023, at a hospital in Miami. He died from injuries sustained in a boating accident at the age of 25. A native of London, he played in the U.S. Major League Soccer Clubs Atlanta United and Charlotte FC. Walks is also being remembered for playing for the English clubs Tottenham Hotspur and Portsmouth. DJ Jerry Blavitt died January 20, 2023, at a hospital in Philadelphia. He died of myasthenia gravis at the age of 82. Known as the Geeter with the Heater, he was a legend of Philadelphia rock and roll radio and television for decades. Blavitt is being remembered for helping launch the careers of artists including The Four Seasons and Dionne Warwick by being the first DJ to play their songs on the radio. Dancer Jean Velos died January 15, 2023, at her home in Los Angeles at the age of 98. She was known for dancing the Lindy Hop in movies of the 1940s, including Swing Fever and Groovy Movie. Velos is also being remembered as a teacher of dance, whose elegant footwork was a joy to behold all throughout her long life. Author Sal Pirro died January 21, 2023, at his home at the age of 72. He was the founder and longtime president of the Rocky Horror Picture Show fan club, and he wrote books about the fandom, including Creatures of the Night. Pirro is being remembered as a driving force behind the audience traditions that helped make Rocky Horror a cult classic. Comedian Polo Polo died January 23, 2023, at his home. He died of natural causes at the age of 78. A star in his native Mexico, he crossed over to fame in the U.S. Spanish-speaking community in the 1980s and 90s. Polo Polo is being remembered for his popular comedy albums, which were famously labeled for adults only. Psychologist Lloyd Morissette, co-founder of the Children's Television Workshop, died January 23, 2023, at the age of 93. 
He was the co-creator of the classic public television show Sesame Street. Morissette is being remembered for revolutionizing children's TV and proving it could be educational. Dr. J. Richard Stedman died January 20, 2023 at his home in Vail, Colorado at the age of 85. He was an orthopedic surgeon who pioneered new techniques in knee surgery to help patients recover faster and more completely. He is being remembered for working with elite athletes including Martina Navratilova, Joe Montana, and Peekaboo Street. Stedman was a U.S. Army veteran who served for two years. Singer Carol Sloan died January 23, 2023 at a senior care center in Stoneham, Massachusetts. She died of complications from a stroke at the age of 85. She was a rising star of jazz in the 1950s and 60s before fading from the public eye. She made a comeback in the late 1980s. Sloan is being remembered for concerts including her breakout performance at the 1961 Newport Jazz Festival. Football player Jesse Lemonnier died January 26, 2023, at the age of 25. In the NFL, he was a linebacker for the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Chargers. Lemonnier is also being remembered for recently joining the USFL team, the Birmingham Stallions. Actor Lance Kerwin died January 24, 2023, in San Clemente, California, at the age of 62. He starred in the 1970s TV drama James at 15, which was renamed James at 16 when the title character he played had a birthday. Kerwin is also being remembered for his starring role in the made-for-TV movie Salem's Lot, as well as appearances in ABC after-school specials and many other TV shows. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. On January 21, 2023, 11 people were killed in a shooting at a dance studio in Monterey Park, California. Their names are Valentino Marcos Alvaro, Hong Ying Jian, Yu Lun Kao, Lilan Li, Ming Wei Ma, Mei Mei Nan, Diana Man Ling Tam, Mui Dai Ung, Chia Ling Yao, Wen Tao Yu, Shu Zhan Yu. On January 23, 2023, seven people were killed in a series of shootings in Half Moon Bay, California. Their names are Yatao Bing, Qi Sheng Cheng, Jingju Liu, Zhe Shen Liu, Marciano Martinez Jimenez, Jose Romero Perez, Ai Sheng Zhang. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the shooting in Monterey Park, California. Flags in Texas have been lowered to honor the memory of City of El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen. Flags in Hawaii have been lowered to honor the memory of veteran state and city legislator Ron Manor. Flags in Washington have been lowered to honor the memory of Clallam County Fire District 3 Captain Charles Chad Kate. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of former Senate President Thomas F. Birmingham. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Fifteen years ago this week, actor Heath Ledger died at the age of 28. Considered one of the best actors of his generation, he starred in movies including Brokeback Mountain and The Dark Knight. Twenty years ago this week, actress and singer Nell Carter died at the age of 54. 
She won a Tony Award for her Broadway performance in Ain't Misbehavin' and starred on TV in Gimme a Break. Twenty-five years ago this week, actor Jack Lord died at the age of 77. He was best known for starring in the original Hawaii Five-O. Thirty years ago this week, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall died at the age of 84. He was a giant of civil rights law and the first black justice on the Supreme Court. Thirty years ago this week, wrestler and actor Andre the Giant died at the age of 46. He was a star of WWF Wrestling and a beloved co-star of the movie The Princess Bride. Actress Sharon Tate was born 80 years ago this week. She died in 1969 at the age of 26. Her career was on the rise at the time of her notorious murder, with roles in movies including Valley of the Dolls. Singer Etta James was born 85 years ago this week. She died in 2012 at the age of 73. Her gorgeous voice was showcased in her signature song, At Last. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.